Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we're going to go over making a table to solve problems. Now before we get into the lesson, you might be wondering, why is her hair like this? Well, today was crazy hair day and I just thought it'd be something fun and wild to do. You know what? I think I like it. Maybe I'll keep it this way. Okay, now time to get back into the lesson. Let's go ahead and look at the steps that we will take to solve these word problems. Number one, we will read the problem. Number two, circle what we know. Three, underline what we want to find out. And four, make a table to solve. Why make a table? Well, making a table helps us organize information that we may need to solve a problem. Okay, before we get into the actual word problems, let's go ahead and work with this example just so that we're sure we know how to fill in a table. So it says, count the shapes make a table. So I have already set up the layout of my table. I know that I'm going to count shapes. So I'm going to name my first column shapes and then I'm going to say how many because they're telling me to count them. How many? Okay, so what three shapes am I working with? I have circles, hearts, and triangles. I will go ahead and label my three shapes in the shapes column. Okay, so I have labeled my circles, hearts, and triangles. Let's go ahead and count our circles to see how many we have. Ready? One, two, three. I have three circles. How many hearts do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five hearts. And how many triangles? One, two. Two triangles. To make sure you're counting correctly, something you could do is cancel out as you count. So if I were counting my circles, I could say one, two, three. No more to cancel out, so I stop at three. Hearts. One, two, three, four, five. No more to cancel out, so stop at five. And triangles. One, two. No more to cross out, so I stop at two. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our first word problem. Remember, the first step is to read the problem. Ready? Lewis collected 12 shells. Tim collected seven. How many more shells did Lewis collect than Tim? Second, we will circle what we already know. We know that Lewis collected how many shells? 12. Now we will underline what we want to find out. We want to know how many more shells did Lewis collect than Tim? Fourth step, I will take the information I have and make a table with it. So I have two boys. And I also know the number of shells that they collected. Number of shells. So who were the two boys? We have Lewis and Tim. Lewis. How many shells did Lewis collect? 12. How many did Tim collect? Seven. Very good. Okay, so we want to know how many more shells did Lewis collect than Tim? Remember, when we are comparing two numbers, we need to subtract. So I have 12 minus 7 equals what? That will tell me how many more shells Lewis collected than Tim. Let's go ahead and hold a fist and say seven and count up to 12. Ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus seven equals five. Lewis collected five more shells than Tim. Very good. Example two. First step, read the problem. There are three kids. Each kid has three apples. How many apples are there in all? 
Second step, circle what we already know. We know that there are how many kids? Three. How many apples does each kid have? Three. Next step, underline what we want to find out. We want to know how many apples are there in all. And when we see in all, we know we will add. Next step is to make a table to solve. I will take the information in my word problem and turn it into a table. So we know we're talking about kids. So I will label my first column with kids. We also know that they each have a certain number of apples. Number of apples. So how many kids are there? Three. So we'll go ahead and label kid one, kid two, and kid three. How many apples do they each have? Three. So three apples for kid one, three apples for kid two, and three apples for kid three. Very good. So if we go back to the word problem, it says how many apples are there in all? Remember, in all means to add. So we're going to go ahead and take all these apples and add them up. Three plus three plus three equals what? Well, let's go ahead and start by adding two of them first. What is three plus three? Let's hold a fist and say three and jump up three more. Three, four, five, six. Three plus three is six. Okay, so now I have six plus three, right? Because we just bring that three down. So six plus three. I will hold a fist and say six and jump up three more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three more equals nine. Very good. So altogether, the kids have nine apples. Very good. All right, guys, that ends today's lesson on making a table to solve word problems. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and making tables to solve. If you have not done so already, don't forget to go back to my channel and enter the giveaway. Also, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys.